Got baseball on the show. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Houston Astros. Alongside my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Choppy. Thanks for joining us here Ladies and seeing you the big bat in the lineup so far this year. Miguel Vargas. There's more pressure. He's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible yeah, job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight. They start to aim the baseball. But for some reason, he gets looser. Bad the ball comes out of his hand with the more life. And he's able now all leave it up. Run around the goal. Swing and a ball hammered left field. Tavares going back. Back some more. Pulls it in on the warning track. One left for Houston. Scoreless after one. Per spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has this one swung on and hit well. Way back there. That one is gone. This place is absolutely loving it. His seventh home run of the season. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. He went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Nigel Beal up next for the one for two. The one, one. Maybe a two ball. Five. Four. Three. And they turn the double play. I think there's always something pretty about watch. Gathers and throws to first. And that is that. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Hard of the order, 3-4-5 will get their shot at the bottom of the ninth. It's the Blue Jays 3 and the Astros 1. Let's see what he's got here to try to close it out. So up next, Nigel Beal. He went deep back in the fourth. A pretty important swing of the bat in this ball game. Yeah, bro, he, he didn't waste any time. He jumped all over that pitch and saw it the entire way. You talk about squaring it up. He did The next pitch misses, and the count is 2-0. Oh. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Line drive. Well, that's a base hit. And a ball in two strikes. Runner on the goal. Safe at second, and that was not close. Distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can... Runner takes off. Line, and that's a base hit. Runner from second crosses the plate, and they trail by one. Well, there you go. The RBI machines. MLB The Show with a good one coming at you. It's the Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Houston Astros. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Well, Singy, this ballpark still among the game's best when the roof is for ball one. That one is absolutely belted. Hutchins ranging back, racing back some more. Makes the catch up against the wall. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around. Backside collapsed a little bit. And the launch angle, not where he needed it to be. And he lays down a bunt. Beal. On the run. Sends it over to first. Beats him to the bag for an out on the bun. Perhaps he rushed just a little bit, didn't set the aim. Misses. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Tosses to first, one away, bottom of the sixth. Yeah, that one. Miguel Vargas. That's to third. Whips it to first. And that is that. Blue Jays held in check. Score relief pitcher and put him on the other side of the plate.
clearly didn't want to mess with them right there. So I think it makes sense. Run around the goal to the right side into the outfield base hit in to score as the runner from third and a 2-1 ball game now such great concentration and you get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other go a little bit deeper into the ball game and for these guys it really came down to a few key at bats this was a fun one to watch and your final score here today 2-1 Houston Astros First pitch coming at you right after the break. And yeah, the righty deals. On the ground to third. The throw to first. One out in the top of the first. Batting second. Here we go now. Come on now. One time. On the ground to first. Dives and he can't hang on. Oh. Flip to the pitcher is in time. And they do get the out. On to the out to short. Whips it across. Oh. And one away in the top of the third. The center field, number 34. Trying to bunt his way on. Picks it up with the bare hand to first. And it beats him. What a play. One left for Toronto. And we're still knotted at zero. About swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball like this, do you think of that as plus value? Well, absolutely. If he's doing damage now, if he's rolling over and, and grounding out, then it's a different story. But yeah, if he can put the ball in the gaps or over the fence, 100%. On the ground to third. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. No throw, and they can't get the out. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage. 1-1 one, one now. That's towards center. Hutchins settles under it. And that is the third out of the inning. Astros are coming through now and with one home run already in this inning they're definitely looking to do some more damage Let it fly. Let's go. Right the pitch That's that the misses the zone and the count is one and one still only one out here in the inning Pitch is in there and it's one and two And there's a ball. Next pitch misses, and it's three and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And a three two. And there's ball four. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's. Here's the pitch. Runner goes again. And a base hit right there. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nice. But he wasn't fooled. He hit that ball really well. That's a base hit. Run scores. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Wasn't able to elevate. And you want to do exactly the same. Maybe even push a little further. Get yourself a sweep. You know the fans are going to be behind this club. They've been playing really well. And these guys, you can tell they feel the energy these fans bring to the ballpark. 6-3 our final score for Chris Singleton. Singleton, I'm John Shum. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars in the sport. Nigel Beal leads the team at OPS. So he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks. He'll barrel up the baseball. He'll hit the ball in the gaps. He'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now. And he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. Ground ball left side. What a stop. Over to first. On the money. Nice play. Well, that right there was all pre-pitch positioning. 
Well, that right there was all pre-pitch positioning. Put himself in the perfect spot to make a great play. Back here at the ballpark, and go. now Nigel Beal. See, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Next one is off the play, and it's 2-0. Oh. When you get ahead in the count, there's no doubt that the success rate goes up, and that's what he's been doing. It's made a big impact for him in recent oh, games. Right. Pitch misses outside, and it's 3-0. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Green makes the catch, and there's one gone. Hitless and four at bats yesterday. Right side, hard hit. To first, gets him easily, ends the inning. On to the second inning now for Minute made the third round pick in 2023. That's ripped, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Swing and a miss. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Bottom of the inning, and here is Nigel Beal. Waldachuk back to work. Foul ball. Well, these Astros looking to string together better bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They only have one hit with runners in scoring position, so a lot of squandered opportunities. It's tough because those are moments you just can't get back. The 1-1. One -one. That one missing inside. Misses inside, and that's ball three. Waldachuk still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one, and at this point, he wants to finish what he started. And he walked him. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even... Henry Davis, the next to hit. And he deals. He's trying for third. Pitch misses. No throw. Save for third. It's a stolen base. Type that bag, such a threat on the bases. Kicks and deals. Up the middle. Oh, a great grab on the dive. And that's a great play for the out. Well, you can see right there, he looks very comfortable going to the backhand. Nig yeah, center fielder. Base is empty, one away. Nigel Beal up next for the Astros. Beal. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. 0-1. The Astros hitless so far in the game. Next offering misses. And one and one. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Oh, big dog, get your pitch. The why to kick the pitch. And now it's even no, up. Down. Ball. Just Down missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. 3-2 on the way. Good plate That's appearance there. Able to take the walk. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. Payoff deal, pitch. Deal. Runner on the go again. Got him swinging. Throw to second and great jump. Well, almost a strike him out, throw him out play right there, but 3-2 is a great count to run on. There's a Back here at Angel Stadium, all set for the top of the sixth. Down the third baseman, Nigel Beal. Line drive, hauls it in for the out. To third. Beal, jump throw. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Angels held in check. And the slider just misses. Right 
Swing and a ground ball out to short. And it gets by him. Goes on the ground to the left. And there's a hit. Throw comes in quickly. And the tying run forced to hold on at third with one away. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eye finds a hole. A chance now to even the it's score and maybe extend this game. The 0 1. And now the runner breaks for the plate. Lays out. Oh, it's off his glove. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Well, there you go. The RBI to the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can... Ah, and this ball gets down. It's a hit. The run comes in from second, and they're up by three. Now the tag at second, and he's out, trying for two. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. And, and that's outside. outside. Reyes leads off first with one away. Next pitch downstairs, no, ball. Ball. and the count is two and two. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. Ball. The next offering misses, and now it's three ball and two. Count. So here we go. Base runner at first could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, even if it's a swing and miss ball at the plate. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, interesting. And now one ball, and two. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself into scoring position. Really nice job of two strike hitting in that at bat. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield. So I think you'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Something off speed away. Next offering down low and in the dirt. That misses no, that off the miss, outside the edge. It's a good take. Two and two. All right, come on now. One down, One base is empty. Five, Swing and he breaks his bat. That's a foul ball. Here comes a pitch. And now it's filled up. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, you know, this guy wants to soul. Now at the plate, the switch hitter batting right. One time, here we go. Bit of strategy here. They issue the intentional walk, and that'll set up a force play at any base. Hold them right here. You'll one. On the ground, could be two. He comes home with it. And that's two. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but in San Francisco Giants, alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shelby, and Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport, Nigel Beal. Always exciting to see him in action, and it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, but it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. I mean, this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the skipper puts on some type of hit and run or run and hit. Over to first, and he saved. That's off the mark, and now 2-0. and oh. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. 
Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. That is cool. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Come on, big guy. Hey, now. Pickoff throw. Reyes dives back in safely. The pitch. Yeah, the oh. one two misses to even the count. Two and two. And the right hander deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. All right, come on now. One time. Get a piece. The pitch. Try to get him to chase on the changeup that time. So here we go. Base runner at first. Could be running on the pitch. He's got good enough speed to steal the bag to get in scoring position, ball even four. if it's a swing and miss at the plate. And ball four <laughs> to a board. Angel Field. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. Throws across yeah. the diamond. Third out. Offense held in check there. Last half of the fifth. And that one hammered. That's back there. And forget it. He circles the bases. It's his eighth home run of the year. And they close the gap. It's 9-4. like this guy was looking out over the plate but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball so direct to the pitch absolutely blasted out of this ballpark Nigel Beal up next for the right-handed reliever next offering is outside Hairston stands a third with one gone in the inning. Next one just misses. Full count now. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. And a pitch. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. How big a deal is that walk? He has. He can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. Runner on the move. Swing and a miss. Throw there. Safe. Home for his late inning heroics. Right hander kicks deals. Runner breaks for third. Throw to first, ball game. And the Giants slug their way to a win in this one. For San Francisco Giants. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. San Francisco Giants. Bouncer collected by Jones. Slings to first, and that is that. Astros play. The unfortunate thing is the clock's going to start ticking on these pitchers, and they won't be able to keep their arms warm forever if it's a long break and going to have to exit this game a little early. Benson puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. Nothing do right there. Just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Groshans at third. Reyes over at second. Hairston on at first with two down. Hard ground ball for a base stop. Nice, nice piece. 
One runs in. Now the second run is in. And it's now a two-run game. These guys are relentless. Just till the bell sounds. Are they are. Left-hand batter waits. Grounded to third. Could be two. To second, there's one. And that's two. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double. Right so here. next up for Houston, Nigel Beal. This guy has turned into a beast. Well, it doesn't get much easier with this next batter, but I totally understand.